How's everybody doing this morning? You guys full? I am. Are you tired? I am also. Here's what I've learned, that I'm not going to get everything I want. Now I'm going to say that I'm going to say that one more time. I learned being down there with my grandchild, that small girl, that I'm not ever going to get everything I want with her. Man, is she a handful. She's a chore. Smart little girl. And here's what she enjoys, hanging out with me. Everywhere I go, she's right there and she wants to tell me what I should be doing. And I'm saying, no, I'm going to tell you. And she's, no, Papa, you're not. I'm going to tell you. We go back and forth. And here's what I learned after a time. of, I learned that if I sit down and hear her out, then she'll sit down and hear me out. And it's hard for me to sit down and hear her out. And she can talk like me. She, oh, can she talk like me? She's too young to, to, to be like that. Smart little girl. Smart little girl. So I, I had to head outside in the car. And, I, and I'm heading outside, and I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. And her, her exact words were, I'm going to. I said, no, I'm going to go out here, and I'll be right back. She said, I can go. I said, you can't go outside till it's cold. And of course, she says, I have a coat. And so, of course, she said, it's hanging here up there, and I want my coat. And I said, no, I want you staying here. She said, no, I'm going. And she went on and on, so I hauled her outside and stuff. And I thought, man, she's just a handful. So after a time, we talked and we talked, but here's what I found too. Me, I don't like to waste food. I've got this thing I, as a kid. What's on your plate, you eat it. And she sat beside me and I ate and she ate. She ate. She ate. But there was some food on her plate and I said, you got to eat that food. She said, no, Papa. She said, I'm done. I said, no, you still have some food. I want to see you eat that food. And so she said, I'm fixing to go, Papa. I'm through. I tried and tried, and she would not clean her plate. So here's what happened. I ate what was left. <laughs> I said, that food shouldn't go in the trash can, so I ate it. And let me tell you what she did. She went and told her grandmom I ate her food. <laughs> he ate my pie and I explained to him I said I did eat her pie I asked her over and over was she done and I tried and tried and she wouldn't eat her pie so I did it was good <laughs> here's my point here's what I seen with her her and I went back and forth all day and her thing now is this hair on my face she says, Papa, you got hair all over your face. I said, yeah, and so does your father. <laughs> I said, you see him? He has it too. And, and I feel what she said, but it's not like yours, Papa. You have a lot. I said, you just complain all the time. I said, goodness. Papa, you sure have a whole lot of hair on your face. But here's what I found as we went back and forth. Hey, with her, it's going to be a long, slow process. But here's what I found, though. It's, it can't be about me, see. Here's what was happening with me. I was wanting her to be like me. That's how I was raised. That's how I saw it. That's how I see it. This is a little girl. To be honest, do I want her to be like me? No, I don't. <laughs> but here's what I found. Here's my goal, though, is what? For her to see Christ through me. And as I sat there, I seen in Daryl, I was trying to make it be about me. You're my little granddaughter, you're going to listen to me. But here's what I found. If I watch how I handle things, I can get her to work with me. And if we work with each other, what's going to happen? Through each other, we're going to what? See the love of Christ. Here's what I can't do with her, and she's letting me know real quick in a hurry. 
You can work with me, but you're not gonna boss me around, <laughs> Papa. She's about, hey, this tall, and she'll stand back. No, Papa, no. I says, I'm gonna spank you. She said, you ain't gonna spank me anymore, and she'll just laugh. I said, look at her. I, I, you know, I said, look at her. But here's what I found, though, as I sat there and as I worked with her, and she wants me to read. Oh, my goodness. She gets a book, the book, and she said, read to me, Papa. And I sat there for hours and read to her. But here's what I found. It's a price. It's a cost. If we'll work at it, we can get through to you. Hey, the world is the same way. It takes time. And it takes some work on our behalf. And sometimes it takes us what? Doing some things that we don't feel like doing. It takes us sometimes hearing a little soft voice that after a while gets annoying. Why? Because she, she no, Papa, no, Papa. I said, you got to listen to me, Stinky. And that's her. I said, I'm in charge, Stinky. She said, no, you're not, Papa. And my name ain't Stinky, Papa. Papa, my name is London. Me, I still say stinky. Just me, habit. But here's what I found. If I'll work with her as she works hey, with me, I'm seeing too that I too have to change. And here's what she's letting me know. Like you expect some things from me, I too expect some things from you. We're going to get there together. As a group, as a whole, as you work with me, I'm going to work with you. And here's what I see. It doesn't matter how we get there. As long as what? We get there. And that's what's in it. That's the only thing that is important. And here's what I found. I said, with her, I've learned to be patient. That's not me. Hey, with the boys, oh, oh they laugh. You were so strict hey, with us. You was hanging on us, and you're behind her. But she's a girl. Things are changing. The world's changing. But he's unchanged. Here's what I mean by he's forever unchanged. If we will let him have his work, if we will humble ourselves and let him work through us, and if we'll let him do what he does, it's going to work out how he wants it to work out. Everything will be fine. Here's what I found that you know the things I did with the boys I ain't gonna work with her. I tell my son all the time, I said, You got your hands full. I said, We have our hands full. I said, You're right. And she is well, she's a sweet little strong little girl, pretty little southern girl. And she knows <laughs> how to boss me around. But I'm gonna work on me as she works on her. Because we're gonna get there together. But here's what I understand. It takes work on her part, and it also takes work on our part. And I've heard him say this so often, and I laugh because I hear this in the back of my mind. I'm glad he's real to hear me do it. It is how we live. <clears throat> I'm going to say it again. It's how we live because she sits back there and she watches me, and she tells me about me. Everything we do, somebody sees it. But if we live it for Christ, it's okay. It's good they see just what we're doing. Why? Because then they want what we have. And then they want to be a lot like us. And know that they're never going to want to be just like us. But they're going to want what we have. And what do we have? Jesus Christ. That's what we want to share. That's what we have to give. And how do we do it? through humbling ourselves and allowing him to work through us. And all the time I understand now, it's like Cheryl said, and on her, I've got to up my game. And she ups hers too. But here's my point, what we can work with each other. And I may have, I may have to lead by allowing her to lead. Uh -oh. What did he say? That's hard for me to say. But as long as we get there, that's all that, that that's all that is important. That she be saved by Christ. That's all that's important. 
And yeah, as we said, yeah. And down there it was a long day. And the and I've got boys and they like her. They said, Daddy, she just man, she just she has you. I said she does. But that's what? The love of Christ, right? And that's what we want to share. If we share that, it, it's gonna what? It's gonna make a difference. I'm gonna close with this. She wanted to go outside with me. It was cold out. She got her coat and she insisted that she go with me. They'll go outside and it's cold. If we watch how we live and how we handle things, the world of what? They will follow if we're led by him. If we watch how we live, if we watch how we handle things, if we watch how we do what we do, if we're led by him, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to close with this, if we're led by him, it's going to work out. But here's what we have to do. Not be unendurable. I have to change. And that's hard. I'm an old man. She lets me know it. Papa, all that on your face. And it's white too, Papa. She knows every color in the world. She tells me about me. Papa, you got to do, you got to do something. What do you have to do, London? What do you have to do? Here's my point. We're here. Why are we here? To help lead people to Christ. We have a responsibility on behalf of Christ. To live for Christ, hey, to share the word of God and help get people home. If we will do those things, we're going to make a difference. And I'm going to close with this. Even though you may not see it, if you stay in, and it's hard work, if you stay in, you don't give up, if you keep going, you're going to make that impact. You're going to make that, that difference. You will. How, how do we do it? Through, through Christ. Allow him to work through us. And I'm going to say this. I enjoyed everybody back there. I enjoyed the food and I had fun. And I wish we could do it more often. Because I enjoy us so much if we <laughs> sit back there and enjoy each other. I'm going to close guys say with this. Here's what I find. We all want the same thing. I'm going to say that again. Everybody wants the same thing. And now there are some people don't know how to go about things in the right way. But we want the same things. And if we'll work with each other, if we'll allow ourselves to to be used by Christ then we can lead how here's where I'm going through all this thing what we can lead by example and what is the, that example that we want to lead by Christ not Daryl not you, not me but by Jesus Christ that's what we want to share with the world the good news this world is winding up time as I sat back there, that food was good. And as I drove down there, that food was good. And I went back and forth. But here's what I understand. Time is winding up. All we have is so much time. That's why it is so important that we allow ourselves to be used. The holidays are here. Hey, enjoy them. But always stop and take time and share that good news, guys. That's really why we're here. Y'all know I went and bought a, a new Bible. I'm still carrying the one that's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> I did find uh, the Bible I wanted, and I bought it. And I've looked at it a time or two, and, and Texas has looked at it. But I'm still carrying this and it's falling apart. <laughs> Daryl said we need to lead by example. Romans chapter 12, at the beginning of the chapter, tells us, how we lead by example. 
I beseech you therefore, brethren, and then the NIV it says brothers and sisters, and that's the proper meaning, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. We, in this life, should try to live just exactly like it said. To present our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. Why? Out of appreciation for what God has done for us is one reason. There's a song that the Chuck Wagon Gang and some of the others sang years ago. And I can't sing it. And I don't know all of it. But there's a line in that song that says, a few more days and I must go to meet the need that I have done. Now, Christian people will not be at the great white throne judgment. But we do stand before Jesus Christ to explain what we did. Christian people will be going to heaven. But we get to tell Jesus why <coughs> we made some of the mistakes we make all the way. The fewer mistakes we make, the less that we'll have to be sorry for. <coughs> the second verse says be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good acceptable and perfect will of God do we make an effort every day to stay in the will of God we should. I'm confident in my salvation. Although, as we talked about one night recently in the evening service, Satan tries hard sometimes to convince me that I can't be saved. Otherwise, I wouldn't do some of the things I did. Yet, the Spirit of God interacts with my spirit. Maybe not as often as I wish it did, but there are times that God wants me to do something and I just know it's something I've got to do. If that was, I was being convicted of something that against the rules that God has laid out in his word, then I could believe Satan was the one talking to me. But when I'm convicted of something I must do and it lines up with the Word of God, it shows love. I'm confident the Spirit of God is the one talking to me. Yet, as Paul said, I don't always do that which I know I should. The sin of the omission is one of my works. When we know 
there someone we need to talk to and we keep putting it off? Why do we put it off? Surely we're not hoping they'll die before we get around to it. Yet that's something that I have done. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. That is the way we lead others to accept Christ. In the verse, third verse, Paul tells us to not think more highly of ourselves than what we should. I don't know how we can think more highly of ourselves if we, if we remember that we're sinners and that we needed to save you. But if we get to thinking that we're doing good. I guess we could easily think too highly of ourselves. We inherited the sin nature when we were born, and we've been sinners ever since. We need. That salvation that Christ offered. We need to present ourselves a living sacrifice. Lord, would you just listen to the Lord? Dear Lord, we thank you. Go through this week with your will in mind. Bless everybody that's telling this holiday. And bring us all home. Jesus, 